Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a review of Panda Cloud Antivirus. They have their final release out. And I'm really looking forward to testing it and going through how it works. So they've recently really revamped their site here. Um, they have uh, easier to use. It's a nice format. You have an activity monitor. It'll show you the uh, recent malware that's been detected in the cloud. And you can see uh, where it is, what it is. All right. So we're going to go and download this here. Brings you to CNETdownload.com. And if we click download, it's 21.9 megabytes. And I'll save that to the desktop. All right, and while that's going, um, Panda Cloud Antivirus is an interesting application. It doesn't download signature definitions. What it does is it, fi when it finds a file, it will upload it to the cloud, which is like a server that has lots of different uh, information and it'll check with uh, the information on the server or wherever and it will see if the files malicious so in that sense it doesn't download definitions and it can have instantly updated definitions by having um, a chance just to check with the cloud and the cloud can be updated they'll just throw a single file in when they find it, so it's constantly updating. It's not like you download a file every hour. Uh, Panda Cloud has its bugs, though, in terms of it's not the greatest at detection as far as I've tested. It's a little bit um, slow to pick up files, and it is kind of lame on detection. So we're going to start installing this. Um, I'm interested to see how their final release goes because it should be better, much better, because they've been really working on their technology. And it's a simple installer, um, it installs to normal directory, it installs quickly, it's an easy installation wizard. And all right, start using Panda Cloud Antivirus. So to start protecting your computer, enter your account details. All right, that's new. You have to create an account. So let's click here to create an account. So they don't want you just downloading it and using it without putting in your details. So I'll put this in. and nickname whatever create your account it's pretty easy uh, your account has been created so if I go back here and punch in my info and it activates the service there has been an error um, Okay, hang on. I probably have to check my email. I'll be right back. Yeah, I missed that. I just had to go to my email and activate my account. So we'll sign in here. It'll activate the service and we'll start using Panda Cloud. Alright. The antivirus has been stopped, it says down here. So if we... Uh, okay, now it's going. So if we look here, it's a pretty easy interface. And it'll tell you to click here. I guess this is just the recycle bin that'll show you if it neutralizes a program. If we click this, it'll go uh, go right back. So it's a pretty simple interface. You can click, click quick scan or scan other items. You can check off what you want. Uh, settings, changing settings. There's that's just proxy. 
and there is no settings. So this is an absolutely easy antivirus. There is no disputing that. And the only other thing people wonder about is, well, if it has to upload all the files to check them, how can a scan be effective? But let's let's see. If we click scan here, there's no malware right now on this computer. I'm going to be testing these 10 links. But right now, if we see, it's scanning relatively quickly. I will mention that it's not scanning like as fast as some antiviruses will scan and if it encounters a big item I'm not sure if it will skip it or whether it will just take a long time with it I'm assuming it'll skip it but it's it's relatively quick on its quick scan and it doesn't have to scan too many files so I'm gonna stop this and let's look at its memory usage here So, it runs three processes, as far as I can tell, because I usually run 22 processes. And let's take a look. So, we have this one, which is its services, and that runs at 20k. Um, well, I should say 20 megabytes, not 20k. And then it runs this one. And that is 488k. So that one's a pretty, uh, a pretty light service. Maybe it only runs two processes. All right, so it runs two processes. Let's click this. And it's fairly light, but it's not really any lighter than a normal antivirus. So stuff like Avira or even ESET or Avast is just about as light as Panda. Um, so right now there's nothing extremely special about Panda and then so if we go under here you can stop your antivirus you can start your antivirus so if you want to do something in it's pretty easy to quit and if you want to share your ideas and solutions it brings you to their forum and you can post any problems if you want help and you can share your ideas and so right now this is a pretty simple antivirus and if you for some reason can't figure out how to use this if you click the help button it will tell you you can go to the uh, help website and you can read on how to use panda which I don't see why anybody would need to do that um, but whatever and if we look at about panda it's version 1.0.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.